the Knoll family in court today. Former Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll, who faces his own charges, was in attendance as his daughter went before the judge, facing nine different felonies. And now there are concerns about a leak of information in the investigation. This is Wave News at 6. I'm John Bowl. And I'm Myra Ansari. Casey Knoll allegedly ran out more than $100,000 of personal expenses on a nonprofit's credit card. Wave News reporter Sean Body shows us what happened in court today. Casey Knoll is the third member of her family to appear in court facing charges in a sweeping public corruption case. Her mother, Misty, facing 10 felony charges and her father, Jamie, facing more than two dozen charges were both inside the courtroom, this time just as parents. Casey Knoll herself is facing nine counts of theft and tax evasion from allegedly racking up more than $100,000 of personal expenses on a credit card she was assigned from New Chapel Fire and EMS. Purchases like tanning, Netflix, alcohol, and travel. Knoll was issued a $20,000 full cash fine. On, but one of the biggest issues on hand here on Monday was how no learned that she was to be arrested and if she learned earlier than she should have. That she turned herself in willingly um, to the uh, basically to the court or to the jail. Um, at that point in time, there was no warrant that issued, and I felt that the court needed to be aware of that. Knoll's attorney says the idea that information is being leaked to Knoll's family is outlandish. I anticipated charges in Casey's case last week because I received a call from the detective. The judge did pull all parties into his chambers to discuss that possible leak. The state says they have no proof, only that the defense's argument is questionable. The information would not have been provided to uh, to the attorneys from the Indiana State Police, uh, from Detective Heron or anyone else. Noel's attorney did not take questions from the media, but did deliver a prepared statement. I would ask that the media, as this case progresses, keeps an open mind and follows the facts of the case. At this point, you've heard one side of that. There will be more, and I'd appreciate that everyone pay attention. Noel's trial date was set for August 20th. She's due back in court here in April for a pretrial conference. In Jeffersonville, Sean Bowdy, Wave News.